What's going on, audience? I imagine there'll be a lot of new watchers on this I don't normally watch because this is outside of the scope of what I normally talk about. Um, been a professional gunfighter most of my adult life. Uh, host a Gunfighter Life podcast, Alpha Male podcast, and Simple Man Sermons. But today, we we'll to be talking about dog hiking packs or dog bug out bags. I do a lot of that kind of stuff, backcountry hunting, fishing, foraging. I live off grid. I'm off grid right now. It's hot. It's the end of July, hence the tank top. Uh, forgive me not wearing a suit and tie, but I don't think it really adds anything to the content. But the reason I'm doing this now is my dog got a new pack and I'm going back to his old pack. Nothing wrong with the new one, but I like the old one better. The new one is a uh, Kurgo. I think it's the extra large. I'm going back to the REI that he's had for a while. Now, I got this one, honestly, because we were in the store and he peed on it. He's normally a really good dog, but if another dog pees on something, he's a male dog that's not fixed. So that happened. <laughs> it hasn't happened in a while. But anyway, that's how I got that pack. So I figured the honorable thing to do is buy it. So I might as well try it out. I don't like it as much. And as such, I'll be going back to the REI pack. It's a little bit bigger. That's one of the reasons I like it a little bit better. And honestly, I think it's built a little bit beefier. So as I'm going through here, I thought it'd be a good chance to make a video. Oh, that is from my last recent, not this last one, the bug out exercise before that, a couple of days in the Bitterroot backcountry wilderness. I'll probably splice in some pictures of us in the backcountry of Alexander Hamilton on his many adventures. But... Anyway, I thought going through the packs, it'd be a good time to make a video on dog bug out bags and what normally goes in there. So let me unzip this here. This is a medical kit. This has stuff that could be used on either one of us, but it's a medical kit. Things like combat gauze, medical stuff in here. I carry medical stuff as well, but it's a good thing to have redundancy in. The big part of the pack is calories. These are dog bones, milk bones, or Vita bones. I think there's both in here, but milk bones, I'm not sponsored by milk bone or anything, but milk bones are good. He likes them and he tends to eat them and they're just a good, easy thing to feed him. I will also carry dog food, but that's generally at the end of the day at night, I'll dump it out on a rock or something. I'm not going to carry an extra bowl and all that stuff. So calories, if you have a dog, you probably have poop bags, um, so that's something you probably already have and it'll keep it a little bit dry if it rains or something but these are just dog biscuits so that's what there's a bunch of those in there might as well give one to the pup good boy um and now let's see that's a that's a bulk of the pack right there the other side this is a tank top. This is a 100% merino wool tank top. It's for him. It's one of my old tank tops that got ripped. It's 100% merino wool, fairly expensive. So why not use it for the dog? He does get cold. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback and we go in some pretty rugged country. So when he gets cold, why not have it in there? It was expensive, 100% merino wool tank top. Um, also calories, this is just his normal dog food. So there's that. Something else that you can also do is put oil on it. That's something we routinely do for him is put oil on his food. He's, he's a high active dog. We burn a lot of calories. So putting that oil on the food really helps. It adds more calories without adding, adding a lot of weight. It's something we do day to day a lot of the time anyway, but it also really helps in the back country where you're trying to carry the most amount of calories and the most bang for your buck calories for weight ratio is fat. It's got more than double the calories per weight ratio of like carbs or protein. So from that standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. And what else is in here? Some other things that I like to do, if we're going on like a backcountry canoe trip, I'll probably splice in again, uh, backcountry canoe trip stuff, but just foam. You can use a pool noodle. This was literally, I think something that came in packaging. It's just foam. You can put that in either side of the pack as a ballast. You put it in both sides and then he has a life jacket. Not that he's not a good swimmer, but if it's a really raging river, some rapids or something like that, that extra buoyancy can really help. You can do that with that. You can do it with a pool noodle. You can put the extra space as packing peanuts. 
And something that uh, I also carry in there is a water bottle. Normally he'll just drink out of the creek or a pond or whatever it is. He's a dog. But if we're going long distances, like when we live in Arizona off grid, you know, we live off grid, uh, there might be long distances without water. So having water bottles in there, also if they're empty, they also act as ballast. So just empty water bottles, right? They don't have to be anything fancy. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. But empty water bottles in there, they can act as the flotation device if you're somewhere really wet and he's doing a lot of swimming, or they can help carry water because they're water bottles. So either one of those things. And somewhere in here, one of these little side pockets. This is a headlamp. It's a $1 Walmart headlamp, okay? This is mostly just to put around his neck if he's trailblazing for me, if we're going cutting new country and he's the one in front, that I can follow him really easily if it's dark. Just hang it around his neck. It's a dollar, right? It, and it's a headlamp, I can light it up. Also, it's a spare headlamp for me if I were to need one. 550 cord, this is tied in such a way as to be an easy leash. He's not the kind of dog that normally needs a leash, but I just carry some in there just in case. It's also just spare 550 cord. And an emergency blanket. Again, he does get cold. If he gets really cold, that's an emergency blanket. Again, these are cheap. They don't weigh a lot. I think that's all that's in there. Again, we do a lot of backcountry stuff, right? The good news is he's a dog, right? He's a, he's a dog. He doesn't need a lot of stuff. You know, calories, water, love, and affection. And so the, I can establish some bona fides so you know that I have a dog. Ham, come. Ham, good boy. Finish, come. Good boy, finish. Sit. Sit. This is Alexander Hamilton. Ham. Touch. Good boy. Pop. Oh, good pop. Oh, good pop. Who's my good pop? Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, so good. So good. He's such a good pop. Okay. Down. He's a good dog. <clears throat> um. Anyway. That's this video on dog bug out bags, dog backcountry packing, whatever you want to call it, whatever I'm going to label it. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Ham. Touch. Boop. Paw. Bam. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy.